I'm here at Devil's Corral in the Snake River Canyon in southern Idaho. Uh, Devil's Corral is a big amphitheater of sculpted rock and terraces and ledges cut through the basalt. And the big story here at Devil's Canyon is the Bonneville Flood, which happened about 17,000 years ago. Bonneville Flood occurred when uh, ancient Lake Bonneville down in northern Utah overflowed into southern Idaho, came racing into the Snake River Canyon, flowed west following the Snake River. Uh, and then around Burley, the Snake River has a constriction uh, that the, all the water couldn't get through that constriction. So the water ponded and sort of accumulated in the Burley area and it started to develop a secondary branch of the flood uh, north of the Snake River, kind of following the current path of Interstate 84. Devil's Corral is one of the major locations where that branch of the Bonneville flood poured back into the Snake River Canyon. So you had said effectively the two branches or lobes of the Bonneville flood merging together and uh, creating incredible hydraulics, uh, incredible powerful uh, uh, water movement that plucked the rocks uh, and threw them downstream and excavated this big canyon scenery that we have here. Um, this is a small part of Devil's Corral down here and if you look down at the bottom you can see some really clear water. This is a large spring at the bottom of Devil's Corral where a large amount of groundwater is coming out and flowing down into the Snake River. This groundwater is tapping the Snake River Plain Aquifer, which is one of the larger aquifers in uh, southern Idaho. It actually has a huge amount of water. All this water originated as snow and rain up in the mountains uh, to the north of the Snake River Plain. It's worked its way down through the permeable basalts, fought its way down, and here at Devil's Corral there's been enough erosion from the Bonneville flood that the canyon has cut deep enough to intersect uh, the groundwater table and expose that water and create this spring here. <clears throat> Another cool feature we have here, if we walk up this way, are uh, mainly in Devil's Crow, we have all these different tiered basalt layers, these lava flows from these regional volcanoes. <clears throat> but this specific outcrop looks a little bit different. The basalt looks a little bit different color. Uh, there's a lot of this yellow in between. It doesn't look as cohesive. And you might be able to pick out some of these rounded shapes and structures in here. These are pillow lavas. And pillow lavas form where lava flows into some body of water. So our story here is that this lava flow entered some body of water. Maybe it was a small pond or, or lake, or maybe it was a stream or a river. Uh, but nonetheless, the lava flowed into that water. The lava would have chilled and cooled very quickly. And that's why the outer rims of these pillow lavas have this sort of black, glassy rind to them. Um, and it, in the course of doing so, as it was cooling, it was fragmenting and breaking apart a little bit. So it was um, being broken into pieces. And that's why you see this rock has so many holes and it looks so disjointed and broken up. So great stories here in southern Idaho. One of the Bonneville flood, these layered lava flows that we see in the area, extensive erosion, and even pillow lavas.